Greetings, cyber dogs. This is Rendog coming at you from outside my nether portals in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 survival series. In the previous episode, we were gathering obsidian so that we could complete our nether portal structures. And as you can see, they, they are ready, they are fired up, and damn! They are even they are so awesome that the local wildlife is coming to check them out, man. Check at these cats coming to have a look at this freaking nether portal, man. Oh goodness gracious. We also uh, managed to fix up the door and uh, fix up the symmetry because when we first started making this, we were one blo block too many. But guys, we are basically ready to go to the nether. I was just going to run straight in there, guys, but I suddenly realized, you know what, actually, let's take a step freaking back. This is hard mode. Let's take a step back. Let's get prepared. Um, let's not, not just charge in there, uh, die and lose everything, <laughs> which, uh, which is basically what I intended to do. Um, I'm going to take a step back. And in this episode, I just want to get everything ready, man. I want to make sure that when we get to the nether, we are 100% prepared. And what I want to make sure that I do is go to the nether with a pickaxe that is going to help me get glowstone really fast. Um, and you know what pickaxe that's going to be, man. That's going to be Terra, our really good friend Terra, who's going to, you know, I want her to come with. I want all my weapons to come with. I want Fang to come with. I want Rambo to come with um, because I feel like I need... I need my full suit, man. I need my full suit of weapons and armor um, to survive this ordeal in the nether. So they're coming with me, but they're not. They, their durability is very low on all of them. So what I want to make sure I can do is just repair them a bit um, in this episode so that when we go to the nether, um, they, they're going to be ready to rumble. I'm not going to be able to repair them fully, I think, but I am going to, you know, repair them at least halfway. And... Um, you know that is the plan so i think what i'm going to do is just make a couple stacks of uh, stone bricks just to conserve oh my goodness it actually it actually makes four oh my goodness i didn't even realize that man i thought it actually consumed your stone bricks but you get just as many stone bricks out of it um man and we are totally out of space in this one so looks like we're gonna have to do some rearranging of the storage rooms at some point um, we're going to have to find a way to add more chests into the storage rooms, maybe in that direction. Um, but man, that is not our major concern at the moment. Our major concern is getting enough XP so that we can repair our items before we head into the nether. Um, so let's get this cobblestone cooking ASAP. Uh, open up, you best. All right, there we go. Oh man, this is so freaking exciting, guys. Oh God, I, I just cannot wait to get there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know if I'm going to die. <laughs> um, I, I, we're more than likely going to die, but hopefully we can, I don't know, do something to preserve our items. Hopefully we won't land in lava because um, that'll, e that'll equal the death of our items, I think. Um, but what I, what I gather from you guys um, in the comment section below is that what I need to do when I get to, ne to the nether is build a cobblestone um, building around the portal, right? Because gas shoot apparently uh, exploding balls of gas and uh, you don't want those exploding balls of gas hitting your portal because apparently it can actually um, turn your portal off um, which sounds like a very bad time because then you're trapped in the nether forever <laughs> um, and we certainly don't want that happening so I'm going to be taking with me a whole bunch of cobblestone um, I better make sure I don't smelt all of it and I can't believe we smelted all of this freaking cobblestone that is that is unreal um, but what we still need to do is make ourselves a, a diamond helmet. So let's get it on. Diamond helmet in the belly. And um, I want to... I want to go and do some butthole clearing. Uh, we're at level 23 at the moment. So we're getting pretty close um, to being able to fix Terra up to a decent level. Oh my goodness. How many mobs are in here, man? Damn! Damn! Okay, well, this is going to be a lot of XP right here. I, I seriously need to make a more efficient way to kill these guys. Um, you know, this is like quite a quite an epic waste of arrows. You're going to fight me with an arrow, butthole? Take an arrow to the brain. But man, we got a lot of XP out of that little debacle. Level 20 foul. Level 20 foul and a half. Sweet. Um, all right, so the butthole will fill itself again. And we can get another level and a half on the butthole. 
in a moment. Now let's go see how much work we can actually do. So, Fang, my friend, one diamond costs 17 experience and gets you to halfway. Um, well, Terra is the most important one. So 20 experience to get to that level, 25 experience to get to... I, I want to get Terra to this level um, of repairedness, basically. So um, we're going to need another... I mean, you know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to repair Fang to this level. 22 uh, experience to do that. So that's cool. So Fang repaired. Looking good, man. I wonder how many um, more things my freaking anvil can take before it breaks. And now what I can do is is get the new fresh experience all the way up to level 25 uh, to repair Terra. I mean, I would love to repair you to full Terra, but unfortunately, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna be able to repair you to sort of halfway. Um, I was thinking about repairing these diamond items also, because, man, they are busted up. So let's see, if we just repair one diamond, costs only one. Yeah, that's that's a good deal. I'll, I'll have that. And what about the boots? That also only costs one, so I'll, I'll, I'll take that deal, man. So our armor is a little bit more repaired. Our anvil is, is on the way out. But what we need to do now is gather a whole bunch more experience. We're on level zero again. Um, but now we're going to be getting fresh XP balls, and fresh XP balls um, are good times. Because fresh XP balls give you loads of XP. Check it that, man. Level... Level one! Sweet! Alright, so the butthole's gonna, gonna have to deliver for the next 30 minutes or so. Um, I'm probably just gonna stand here and let it deliver. Um, the forge room is cooking away nicely. Once this is ready, we'll be able to collect all of that XP. And um, we are well on our way to freaking repairing Terra to a suitable level and thus being able to head into the freaking nether. Oh, an enderman. Let's take him, let's take him, man. He's got a lot of XP and he's got, um, he's got those ender pearls that we need. Die, you bastard! Burn! How does it feel to burn? <laughs> man, that was sweet. I owned him. Um, any other enderman around here? Man, and he, he ripped up a block also. Man, freaking Enderman. Um, don't hate Enderman as much as I hate Creepers, though. And there is a Creeper. Oh, you're going to take it. You're going to take it! I mean, I could just do a little bit of farming around the Nether Portal Temple. It seems to be... It seems to be, like, basically a giant spawn pad. What are you going to do, dude? You're going to hit me with a spade? That is just rude. I mean, seriously. I mean, who hits people with spades? All right, sweet guys. I mean, while we wait, while we wait for um, the cobblestone to cook up, I, I kind of just want to finish off this platform here. Um, man, we've actually used up a lot of our cobblestone, which is slightly worrying. I kind of want to just finish off the dough. Check it out, kablam! Man, that is so sweet. Um, and where's it got to go? Like this. Yep. Oh, man. This door is so sweet. I'm just going to run through it again. Check it out. Kablam! Nice. Oh, very, very nice. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm messing around here. So I think what I'm going to do, right? Maybe what we should do, I know, guys. Let's do a dogolith entry right now. And um, that'll give the butthole time to fill up. And then we can harvest the butthole, harvest the furnace. And that should get us enough levels to repair Terra and get our asses to the freaking nether, man. That is a sweet idea. Um, I'm going to take this guy out, though. Check, I can actually hit them from here. Burn. Yeah, yeah, burn. <laughs> man, what a horrible way to go. A slow, agonizing burn to death. Oh man, that guy didn't take any damage. Check at him trying to get out of there, man, like a sneaky ninja. Um, <laughs> Alright guys, let's head up to the dogolith, get some of your asses on the dogolith, give the butthole time to deliver and the furnaces time to cook. And, uh, you know, let's let's get some of you onto the dogolith. I think I missed yesterday's dogolith entry, or the last episode's dogolith entry. So I'm going to do two dogolith entries today. Four of you from YouTube and four of you from dogcraft.net. So, um... This should be sweet. 
just you know just just burn in a bit of time just burn in a bit of time on the dogolith um no better time no better way to burn time if you ask me oh check it that guys isn't that looking awesome oh man all right guys let's get some of you guys into the dogolith okay so from youtube we have got p s 3 x d base welcome to the dogolith my friend and from youtube also we've got r a n m a 639 triple one welcome to the dogolith we've also got uh black horn wasp welcome to the dogolith man that is a scary ass name and we've also got terrify welcome to the dogolith my friend and um what the jazz Oh, <laughs> we put them on the wrong side. Um, oh, man, that is annoying. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, oh, God, the OCD is going to kill me. Um, don't worry, guys. I will move you to this side um, off camera. But let's get the Dogcraft guys on to the Dogolith 2. We've also got... I've written you down on a piece of paper. We've got A-R... Arc... Um, man, P-A-L-L-A-D... Palladium 13... Arc Palladium 13. Welcome to the do the Doglith. We've also got TNT Lover 3. Man, there's three TNT lovers in the world? Damn. Um, we've also got Dula Kaba. Welcome to the Doglith. And we've also got Turkey Dog 1. <laughs> that is uh, that is an awesome name, man. Um, Turkey... Oopsie. Turkey Dog 1. Sweet. Uh, well, welcome to the Doglith, my friends. Um, that is the Doglith entries for today and for yesterday. Uh, or for the previous episode and um right now we are just biding some time for the butthole to to fill up for the furnaces to cook so that we can get enough levels to repair terror so that we can get our asses over to the nether oh my goodness gracious guys this is going to be some intense business damn um but we can do it man i can feel in my bones right how far are these furnaces are cooking all right, so they've got another 16 or so blocks to go, guys. I tell you what, I'm going to bring you back when the furnaces are finished and the butthole is full and we will get some XP in the ass. See you on the other side of this kaplooey kaplooey. All right, guys, the butthole is filling up quite nicely and I think that the furnace room should now be done. Um, there's other ways to get XP also, uh, like making babies. And um, <laughs> I I'm going to go make some cow babies, some, uh, some, some mini steaks, I think. It's going to be sweet, but let's pick up all the XP that we can get from the forge room. Oh, man. And look how much freaking stone we have now. This is epic, man. We have a, an, uh, we have a, a ridiculous amount of stone. I'm pretty sure this is as much stone as we'll ever need um, for this continent anyway. Um, well, I don't know, man. The wall is going to be two layers thick, so that actually might take up quite a lot of room. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want your bones. I don't want your meat. Get out of my life, freaking string. Um, what else can we chuck away here? One cobblestone. I actually just want the XP, to be honest. And chuck that away. There we go. And we got one more. <laughs> anyway, leaving a leaving behind a whole bunch of of jazz um, but let's go put down all of this stone and let's go get some wheat oh man the slabbage cupboard is almost f is completely full up sorry slabbage cupboard man our chests are just a mess now i need to put my hat on that's better <laughs> all right let's drop off um what are we doing we're getting some wheat we're gonna make some babies uh, where's the, the wheat? It's in here, right? We got five wheat. Hmm. Unless I put some in here. Nope. You know what I really need to do, guys, is make a freaking chicken farm. Let's take that bit of bread. Hmm. Tasty. Um, I need a chicken farm because I have so many seeds and I want to do something with them, man. And I think you need to feed chickens um, with seeds. Cows! It's time to get busy! You two get busy. And uh, you two get busy. And why don't uh, you two get busy? Give me the XP. Um, 
I actually think we need some steaks, right? So let's um, let's set this guy on fire. Oh, chicken made me a steak. Delicious. And this guy? Become a steak. Oh, that is awesome. Um, one more, one more steak. We're not going into nether into the nether without steaks, guys. Come on. I mean, you know, what kind of adventure would that be? An adventure without steaks is no adventure at all. And don't anyone tell you any different. Alright guys, I think it's about time to clear out the freaking bunghole. What? It's open! Spider! Man. Oh, these spiders come up through this little gap here. It's quite annoying. Um, the butthole does actually need quite a lot of work. Uh, quite a lot of maintenance work needs to get done on this butthole. Die, spider! You ain't supposed to be there! Oh man. It's massacre time! Who shot at me anyway? Oh god! The creepers, the creepers bother me. I don't know how many hits they're going to take to kill, so I prefer to arrow their asses. If I can hit them though, that is. And then uh, for, the, for the other guys I use the sword. Oh my god, there's two spiders up there. Right, how many, how much XP did we get out of that little debacle? That was about, f I, I basically waited for about 15 minutes there to fill up the butthole. Um, doesn't look like a lot. Alright, there we go. So we've got 15 levels. Man, we got, we need one more level uh, to get to level 16. That is quite annoying. Uh, maybe the, the butthole will deliver one more mob. Come on, butthole! Spit one more out! Come on! Is it night time yet? Maybe there'll be a, a creeper down here wanting to die. No, but there is a minecart down there, strangely enough. That wasn't me! The mole hole's haunted! Oh my god! Looks like we're gonna have to make one more steak, people. <laughs> the cows are like, no! I just had a baby! Don't take me out, please! I just had a baby, please! Sorry, Carl. I need your XP and I need your steak. Bye! There we go, level 16. And I didn't even get a stake out of that, man. Oh, it's unfortunate. That was a waste of a cow, a cow's life right there. Oh, here's a whole bunch of, of wheat. So let's see if we can uh, make some, some more babies. You and you, get busy. You and you at the back, get busy. You, you're already busy. You've already been busy. What about, no, no, no. You and um, you, anybody else? There we go, you two get busy. There we go, guys. Sweet! So we made a couple more, um... Do these guys get busy with wheat? No, they actually eat different stuff now. The piggies eat carrots now, I think. Um, right, so let's just drop off this wheat. Mm, picked up some delicious steaks. Damn! We also need to, uh, to, to make some torches, guys. I, I noticed that we have very, very few torches left, so... Um, definitely gonna have to make some of those very soon! Nothing in the butthole yet. Right, let's head into the forge room and see what kind of repair work we can actually do to Terra at this stage with 16 levels. Um, right, Terra. What can we do for you here? Well, we need minimum 20 levels to, to do a repair on you, so um, that is freaking unfortunate, man. Terra, why you gotta cut, cut so much? Why you gotta cut so much to fix? Um, all right. Well, in the meantime, guys, I think I'm going to make me some torches. Uh, drop off some of this jazz. Where are the sticks? There's some sticks. Sweet. All of our coal is um, invested into the furnace room at the moment, so we're going to have to pick some of that up. Coal, coal, coal. I don't know how many torches I need for the nether, but I'm guessing that I need quite a lot. Because I um, I, I guess we're going to try and make a, tr a trail. We need to make some sort of a trail, right? Telling us where to go. So let's make um, a full stack of torches. There we go. That's going to be more than enough torches, I think. Perhaps too many torches, but I, I have no idea what to expect. So I'm, I'm just preparing for the worst here, man. I've got steaks. i got bread. Um, I've got melons. I don't actually need the melons, so I think I'm going to drop off the melons. 
<clears throat> just gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna live on steak and bread alone man drop all this jazz off you know what I do want to take man is an ender pearl because if we spawn in a like a really bad place in um, in the nether I want to be able to like zap out of there if you know what I mean uh, using an ender pearl I don't know, I even know if, I, if that's possible but but say for example I I spawn over lava or something like that um, that would not be good times you know what I mean that, that, that would be very very bad times but uh, what am I trying to drop off here I keep forgetting uh, some of this coal. So, if we spawn in a bad place, right, I'm going to be able to just use that ender pearl to get out of trouble. Um, hopefully. I've never used an ender pearl before. I don't know how it works, but um, I, I'm assuming you just right click. Could be wrong. Alright, so we've got 16 levels. We need four more levels to get Terra up to the uh, the level that we want. So all we got to do is um, is mine the butthole a bit. So guys, I tell you what, I'm going to stand here for about 10 minutes of real time until the butthole is full. And then hopefully we can get to level 20. Um, we can then upgrade Terra to the maximum. Well, the maximum that we can anyway. And then we're going to the nether. OMG! All right, guys, we are back. I've been doing a bit of butthole farming, and uh, we are, oh man, we are almost ready. My stomach is literally, uh, it, it's in knots, people. I, I'm seriously stressing myself right now. I am so freaking nervous about going to the nether. I don't even know if I want to do it anymore, man. Oh, God. What happens if I lose all my sweet loots? Oh, God. This is tense, man. Seriously, I'm, I've been seriously questioning uh, the logic about going to the nether, but I've realized that you know, getting glowstone and stuff is, is, is going to be worth it, man. Getting some sweet-ass glowstone, man. That is what it's all about. So we've got 20 levels, guys. We can repair... Um, we can repair... Terra up to about there. Which is which is good. I'm, I'm happy with that, man. Halfway Terra. It's unbreaking three, man. You know, this pickaxe is not going to break in a long-ass time. So um, that's all of our levels used for repairing. Let's drop off everything that we need. Oh, God. It's almost time to go to the nether. I'm going to feed my doggies one last time. Guys, this might be the last time you see me. Have a steak. Have a steak. Have a steak. Oh, God. That's how much I love you. I, I gave you my steaks. The steaks that I needed for the nether. The nether. <laughs> um, I know. Oh, thanks, guys. I love you too, man. All right, guys. Let's let's freaking do this. We've got, we've got to sleep, I think, one more time. Or, or, or what's happened? Has the sun come up? <sighs> let's just take one more look at the mole hole. It's been nice knowing you all. Oh my god. Goodbye animals. Be good. I'm going to another dimension. Um, nothing too serious. I'll be back in a... Uh, hopefully I'll be back soon. <laughs> oh my god guys. This is it. This is freaking it. Um, oh my goodness. Through the freaking automatic doors. Across the lava moat. And uh, oh, this is it people. Oh my god. It's, it's a terrifying noise. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I have everything that I need. All right, guys, let's let's go through it. We've got diamond helmet, diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, diamond boots, a diamond pickaxe backup, and Terra, the diamond pickaxe. Um, we've got fang and a backup sword. We've got three spades. We've got an iron axe. Don't know why. I'm not sure if I need it. We've got the cobblestone to build around the nether portal when we get in there. We've got Rambo with 37 arrows. We've got an ender pearl in case we spawn over lava. We've got some steaks. We've got some bread. We've got a whole... But ton of torches. We've got a bucket of water, although I'm pretty sure it's useless in the nether, but just in case, who knows. And we've got a crafting table, just in case something bad happens. Oh, God. This is it, people. <sighs> Guys, it's been an, an emotional episode. It's been an emotional season one and uh, quarter of season two, man. I'm about to go to, to go to another dimension if I don't return. Tell my mama that I loved her. Let's do this. OMG! Oh my god! Nether! <laughs> <laughs>